Leave them there. All right, ma. Do have a wonderful weekend. I see you on Monday. Mm -hmm. Monday? See you tomorrow. Ma, tomorrow is a weekend. <laughs> so what if it's a weekend? We have work to do and we have to finish it. Ma, I'm, I'm sorry. I already have my weekend planned out. Can we schedule it? It's not going to be easy, ma. It's my friend's wedding and I've already bought a shrivy. The more reason you need to come to work tomorrow. I mean, you're going to that wedding to eat, to drink and to frolic with the, with the couple, right? Yes, ma. Mm -hmm. um, she's my best friend, ma. Oh, congratulations. Have you asked her to prepare? Oh, yes, ma, I have. I have told her that she needs to prepare on how to take care of her husband, love him with so much affection and treat him very well, ma. That's not what I'm talking about. I meant, have you asked her to prepare for breakfast? I'm, I mean, for a heartbreak. Why are you sounding like that, ma? Are you wishing them ill? Oh, of course not. Why, why would I wish them ill? But you know how men are. They will always cheat for no reason. Ma, not all men are cheats. My friend's husband to be is a very good man and he will never do such a thing to her. And that's what all of them make you believe until they do the unthinkable. This one is different. I have known him for a very long time now. And besides, she has never done anything to make him cheat. Well, she doesn't need to do anything to make him cheat. Men don't need any reason to cheat. You can be beautiful. You know, as bright as the morning sun. The finest thing since sliced bread with the perfect body and of course you know how to do everything a woman can do yet he'll cheat on you and worse still with a smelly pepe seller well that's why i've decided to be in a relationship with my work and i will force you to do same well because i want to help you i like you and i don't want you to make any stupid mistake so You'll come to work tomorrow, and that's final. Yes. All of them? Yeah, they are. Shoot. Hook this as well. And um all the documents are here, right? Yes, sir. Um, I mean no sir. I'm still typing one of the documents. You're not done working on it. 
Why? Did you get the emails I sent you this morning? Yes, I did. So why aren't you done working on it? I guess I'm still working on it. Immediately I log into the email. I started typing. Into so uh, you should be done. Look, I sent that email by 6 a.m., right? And it's 1 p.m. now. If you resume by 8 a.m., you should have been done typing it by now. What time did you resume today? Um. What's, um, what's that? Huh? Do you have COVID or you're a stammerer? Huh? No, sir. So what time did you resume today? By 11 a.m., sir. By 11? You resumed by 11 a.m.? Are you serious? So if I didn't go for my meeting and I came straight to the office, I wouldn't have seen you on seats. Is that what you're saying? No, sir. I wouldn't have seen you? I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. I went for my friend's girlfriend birthday party yesterday. I'm sorry, sir. So you over-celebrated and forgot she had to come to work? Huh? No, they had to show up early. No, sir. I'm sorry. After the whole birthday celebration, he proposed to his girlfriend and we started on that celebration, so... Let me guess. When he proposed, she burst out crying, tears of joy. Right? She was blushing and stretched out her finger for the ring to be slid in. Right? Exactly so. Oh, and your friend thinks they're going to live happily ever after now, right? <laughs> He's living in fantasy land, okay? Wait till she breaks his heart and starts fooling other men. I don't think she will do that, sir. I'm sure they're in love. Yeah, they're just deceiving themselves, okay? Wait till she breaks his heart, his eyes will clear. They're all the same. Jezebels. So I think I'll head back to the office. Yes. Finish the document, yes, okay? Sir. Work on it real quick. Yes, sir. I need it. Can I have one more shot, please? Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, can I have one sort of your friends? Yeah. Hello, Ma. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Thank you. Yes, ma. Yes, ma. Bye, ma. What is this now, eh? Somebody will apply for a job. This woman's one is just too much. Every time, walk, 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 walk. Every time I'm using to cheer, she's still telling me to reply email again. God, this is not the kind of job I applied for. What kind of stress is this one, Steph? It's like someone is overworked. It's my boss, oh. That woman, she's a workaholic. The only time that I'm using to chill, let me just enjoy myself. She's telling me to reply email. And even this weekend that I was even supposed to attend my best friend's wedding, she said she resumed work very early. <laughs> Trust me, I know how you feel. I know what it feels like to have a work freak as a boss. It's crazy. <laughs> I totally don't understand. Seriously, you don't understand. My boss is a workaholic. She doesn't even have a life outside the office. Let me tell you something about my boss. See? My boss doesn't have a child, no wife, no spouse. All he thinks about is work, work, work. Like basically, I, I feel he needs to have a relationship, at least something that will get his mind away from work. Right. Yeah. Honestly, think we're in the same shoes. You can say that again. Um, my manners, sorry. My name is Bolaji. Amanda. Ah, nice to meet you, Amanda. Such a nice name. So you'll um, write a notice to Mr. Okafo. Why is your face like that? Not so much.
I know you're upset. I know you're mad that I refuse to let you attend your friend's wedding. But I was only doing it for you. I know you're thinking right now in your head that I'm such a wicked boss. No, Ma, I wouldn't think of such. Please fix your face. And once we're done with this, I'll take you out for lunch. I know that's what you want. Thank you, Ma. Please can you take this file to the accountant department? I need those two checks ready for my signature. Yes, ma'am. Hello, Pelumi. How many times do I have to tell you to stop calling me? I don't want you to call me anymore. Stop. Please, my love, how long will you keep up with this? I've been apologizing for the past one year now. And will you forgive me? I've forgiven you, okay? I forgave you a long time ago. But I will never take you back, okay? Why would you say something like that, my love? Don't you know you are hurting my feelings? Hurt? Did you just say I'm hurting your feelings? I'm hurting your feet. Do you know what it feels like to see your fiance in bed with another man? Huh? And you say I'm hurting your feelings. I'm sorry, Leonard. I don't know what came over me. I still love you. You don't love me. You never loved me. If you loved me, you wouldn't get in bed with another man, and that's a fact. Of course I do. It was a mistake. Oh, it's a mistake, huh? Why don't you go on making that mistake, okay? Because I'm done with you. I'm done. And stop calling this number. Do you mind if I join you too? What for? Well, it's just to have a conversation. It's a beautiful day. We spend time together, we get to know each other. Who are you that I'll be interested in knowing who you are? Oh, for you, my manners. My name is Charles, and you are? I'm not interested in who you are, where you walk, where you live, huh? how you operate. No, I'm not. It's men like you that act like predators going around looking for innocent women to prey on. Nonsense. No. Can we go or do you want to stay here for a chit chat? been through a lot. Her husband-to-be cheated on her just two weeks to her marriage. It broke her. It broke her completely. She almost committed suicide. And now she doesn't even want to hear of any man. Like, I, I really want to help her. I want, I want her to feel loved again. I want her to be happy. She's a she's a very good person. Look, I can tell you a little what you're talking about. <laughs> My boss <sighs> had a terrible heartbreak. Trust me, it was terrible. He was devastated. And that has made him hardened to women. Like that's totally changed his perspective of women. 
You know, the last time I even told my boss about going for a wedding, <laughs> this woman almost deafened my ears, telling me how wicked men are. <sighs> what are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Look, I'm just thinking about a way that would be beneficial to our bosses. I don't know. You know what? Since our bosses want to use work as a means to cure pain and heartbreak, why don't you just look for a way to just get them to do themselves? What? Yeah. My boss? She doesn't want to use her ears to hear man. Not to mention being in a relationship with one. Please just forget this one, I beg. Look. No follow. Likewise, my boss. But come to think of it, if they get to date themselves, they will have time with each other, you know? They will be all lovey dovey, they will fall in love and to so give us time and space. Think about it. If I got you correctly, that means they will be in love and happy. Exactly. Spend less time on their jobs and we can have our own time. Time, exactly. I like the idea. <laughs> I, I love it. <laughs> um. mm. well, how do we pull it off? Oh, that's true, that's true. Um, Okay, I have an idea. This is what we do. Come in. Malaji. <clears throat> Why are you coughing? Do you have COVID? No. no Am sir. I safe? Yes, yes, I okay. guess. <clears throat> um, sir. Someone brought something. Who? Uh, I don't know. The dispatch rider just dropped it and left. Ah, uh, that's strange. It's not my birthday. Perhaps you could just read the card inside. Maybe the person's name is there. And the dispatch writer didn't tell you who the person was. It just says it's a secret admirer here. No, sir. Nonsense. Take this rubbish out of my sight. You're admiring me. Rubbish. Where were they when I was checking for Mojata to beg every day? Huh? You weren't admiring me back then. Take this rubbish out of my sight. Yes, sir. And next time you bring something like this to me, I'm going to fire you. I'm, 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 I'm so sorry, sir. Get this out of here. Sir. Where, where should I keep it, sir? You're asking me where to keep it. No, no. Keep it in my head. Hmm? No, keep it on my head. I don't care where you keep it. Keep it wherever. You can keep it for yourself for all I care. Let the person start marrying you. I'm sorry, sir. But size, no. I'm sorry, sir. It's not my birthday. Why have you bought me flowers? <laughs> it's not from me, ma'am. A dispatch rider dropped them off alongside with this card. Well, read it. It may not be for me. Okay, ma'am. Love is a feeling which changes with time. But this won't happen with me. Because your love is like my life. It is my world and ecstasy. I love you, the secret admirer. And you brought this to me. 
someone dropped this off. Do you have the audacity to collect it and bring it to me? Uh, I'm Amanda? I'm very sorry, ma. I didn't read the contents in the card. And what if it was a letter bomb? Ma, it's not a letter bomb. It's just a harmless card and a, and a bouquet. Did I tell you that I'm ready to start a garden? Take this nonsense out of my office. Now. Very sorry. Hello, Balaji. How far? How is your end? Hi, Amanda. Um, not nice at all. See, I almost lost my job because I gave my boss that gift. Me too. Kimberly almost brought down Tonda and Brimstone to strike me because of the bouquet and card. <laughs> this is not good at all. See, we have to look for ways to bring them together. I think I have an idea. Okay, tell me about it. Well, we can... Um, see, we can make them go on a date. Eh? No, 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 no. See, I can't take such a risk. Go. My boss will personally type my sack letter if I mention anything about going on a date to him. Come on, what's wrong with you? Hmm? You can't just walk up to your boss to tell your boss to go on a date with my boss. We can actually make it look like a coincidence. Oh, really? Okay, so how would you do that? It's almost your lunch time, Ma. Okay. Ma, you still owe me lunch. Remember you cut our lunch shots the last time when you stormed out? That's true. Don't worry, I'll give you some money. You can go get anything you want, all right? No, Ma. I would love for us to go for lunch together. Must I accompany you? Yes, Ma. You promised me, remember? Well, that's because it was a weekend, and right now it's a weekday. I have a lot of work, and I don't have a lot of Please, Ma, please. I would really love for us to go to lunch together. It would be a great honor for me to have lunch with this amazing boss in the world. <laughs> okay. If you put it that way, let me just round up what I'm doing. I'll make you go. Okay, Ma. Thank you, Ma. <laughs> You're The client just reached out to me now. He said he wants us to have a meeting with him at the restaurant. What client is that? The client from New Haven Construction. Uh, okay. Why can't he come to the office though? Oh, he said he has a quick flight to catch, so he wants us to have a meeting at the restaurant along his road. Okay, all right. What restaurant? Um, he sent me the address and he scheduled a meeting for 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Yes, sir. What, well, it's 30 already? We need to head out. Yeah. Okay. Sir, please give me one minute. Okay. 
We actually want you to help us lie to our bosses that they've won a free lunch at the VIP section. Lie? Yes, lie. Why would I lie? Why can't you just tell them to have lunch at the VIP section? <laughs> look, manager, see, they will never agree to sit down with each other. We just want you to help us make it look like a coincidence, please. Okay. I can make that happen with ease. Okay. But it will cost you. <laughs> Manager, of course we know, we know. We'll pay for any meal that they have and also give you thank you for the stress. 10,000. Yeah. 10,000. Yes. That's too small. I'm sorry. Ah. Okay, manager, how much do you want? 30k. 30k? That's too much now. Okay, you know what? We'll just, um, we'll just add 5k. 5k? 30k last. Deal or no deal? Okay, manager, deal. No problem. All right. That's why I love doing business with men. They don't talk much. Good evening, sir. Hello. Ah, sorry to disturb you. I'd like you to partake in our raffle draw. You could win yourself a free meal at our VIP section. Oh, I'm sorry, but I came here for business, so there's no much time for that. I know that, sir, uh, but you could just, I don't know, try your luck. Uh, and tell a different day, maybe, you know, but I'm busy. Where, where did you go? Sorry, sir, I went to check if the client was around, only for him to call me and let me know that he won't be making it. What? So you just wasted my time? So sorry, sir. What? So does this mean you can try? You could win, you know. Well, there's no harm in trying. Right. So what happens? Do I open this or? No, no, no. Okay. That's ridiculous, man. You should I just come to the office first of all. No, sir. No, so we come out all the way to this restaurant and he doesn't show up. So you just want yourself a free meal. Oh. Yes. Wow, congratulations, sir. <laughs> Uh, you're actually keeping for business and you're getting a nice treat. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, I guess, uh, it's nice, yeah. Please, so let me take you to the VIP section. This way, let me. Okay, all right. I'd like you to partake in our raffle draw. You could win yourself a free meal at our VIP section. Oh, okay. I mean, who wouldn't want a free meal? <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry, Ma. You will have to try again next time. Mm. Oh. I'll try again next time. <laughs> Oh, you just won yourself a free meal. Oh, I did? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, I'm not surprised because <laughs> I've got good luck. <laughs> Please, let me take this. Oh, oh yeah. sure. Uh, Enjoy your meal. <laughs> what is he doing at my table? He's not at your table, man. He also won the free lunch. I thought I was supposed to enjoy the free lunch alone. No, it's a free lunch for two customers, sir. Well, seeing that you don't want the lunch, why don't you just get up and leave? If anyone should leave, it's you. Why should I leave? I'm entitled to this meal. So I'm not entitled to the meal too? Is that what you're trying to say? <sighs> I'm sorry, sir. It's fine, please. I'm sure both of you will enjoy the meal. Please. We have a special meal for you, okay? You will enjoy yourself. Please, please sit. Please. Just one minute. Let me drink it. Please sit. Yeah. 
I just hope you're very well. I hope so too, because my boss, she's such a hard nut to crack. I hope my boss changed that. I hope so too. This sweet smells delicious. <laughs> no, it even looks great. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy your meal. Thanks. I want to smell delicious and look great. Isn't it free? Huh? For men are free things. I'm sure you could eat bitter cola and call it sweet as long as it's a wolf. Excuse you? Am I wrong? Huh? Aren't you people always looking for a, a man to leech on? Hold on a second. So you think every woman you see is actually dependent on a man? Oh, definitely. Okay, once a man has money, people rush him like, like house flies. <sighs> it just goes to show the kind of cheap women you've been involved with. Oh, please. All of you are the same, okay? It's just the price that differs, okay? You know, I'm not going to sit here and have you insult me. You're this arrogant, good-for-nothing, annoying man like you over food that I can afford. Nonsense. Enjoy your meal. I will. Oh, I definitely will. Okay? Let's go. about the food because it was free. Me! I work hard for my money without depending on any man. How can you call me a leech? Why would he call you a leech? Do I know? I'm sure he didn't mean it that way, ma. What do you mean he didn't mean it that way? Are you taking sides with him? So it's women like you that give hard-working women like me a bad name, right? No, ma. I, I didn't mean it that way, ma. Instead of you to join me to insult someone that insulted your boss, a whole Kimberly called me a leech. You're here telling me that he didn't mean it that way. I'm sorry. You man. better be. Me. Leech. Ma, ma, I will. Hey, call me a leech. Do you know how hard I work? From no way. Just decided to call me a leech. Do I know you? Please go, 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 go. Thank you, ma'am. Doesn't mean it that way. We didn't mean it that way. Hi! It is very obvious that this isn't going to work. Just your first meeting and they almost tore down the restaurant. Oh, can't. Amanda, it's obvious your boss is a hard nut to crack. Yes, my boss is a hard nut to crack. But your boss is very rude. Yes, I'm sure my boss hates him. But you were the one that said your boss hates all men. Yes, but the one she has for your boss is double. Your boss self is too rude. See, that's why we need to come up with a solid plan to bring them together. See, me, I don't want to lose my job. Eh? And besides, my boss wouldn't fall for any free lunch trick anymore. She won't. Relax, Amanda. See, you can't, we can't quit right now. You're the one that said we need our bosses to be happy. Okay, here's the thing. Um, your company is a real estate company uh -huh. and mine is a construction company. Uh -huh. Is there any way we could bring both companies to have a business transaction?
Here is the contract for the Dekagon Estate Construction Project, mm. Ma. Go straight to the account department and have them dispose the funds immediately. We have two weeks to deliver that project. We can't yeah. be late. Immediately, please. Okay, ma. Right away. So I have gotten my boss to award your company the contract. <laughs> yes, but let's not celebrate yet, okay? Until they agree to meet and work. <laughs> okay, so I have scheduled a meeting with your company for four o'clock. So please don't be late, okay? Come in. Good day, boss. Hello, Bolaji. <sighs> Boss, I have good news. You have good news. I hope it's money related. Oh, it is very money related, boss. Good. Because money is the only thing that deserves my attention. I know, I know. Sorry I didn't tell you, but there's this contract I've been pushing for my real estate company. Ah, boss, not only did they respond to us, but the secretary just called me right now to let us know that they're sending in 70% of the funds before the end of today. Are you serious? I'm serious. That is good news. I'm serious, boss. As we speak, even the CEO wants to have a meeting with us by 4 p.m. Yes. Oh, they want to meet us? Yes, yes, sir. Oh, sure, 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 sure. By what time? 4, 4 p.m. Oh, sir. okay. Uh, okay, why don't you wait for me outside? Let okay. Me and, like, all right, all right, boss. All right. Thank you. Good work. Good work. Right. Thank you very much. Let's take on it. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Sorry to disturb you, Ma, but the people we awarded the Dikagon contracts, they are here. What are you doing here? We were awarded the Dikagon contract. <coughs> Sorry, my name is Bolaji Johnson, and here's my boss, Mr. Leonardo Kuro. The name is not on a contract. Yes, Ma. Did I even bid for this contract? Did I bid for this contract? Oh, yes, we did. I personally submitted the proposal. Yes, ma, and they met all the requirements for the contract. Amanda, you made me sign a contract to a company led by an arrogant, good for nothing, an incompetent man? Hey, hold it there. Okay, hold it right there. I'll let you insult me, but I won't let you call me incompetent. I mean, you should be honored that my company accepted this contract from you. Amanda. Yes, boss. Go now and change the name on that contract to a Coracha Construction Company. I'm sorry, ma, but I've already forwarded the money for the contract to them. To you them. did what? Ma, you asked me to instruct the accounting department to forward the funds to their company. Immediately, ma. I want a refund. Clearly, your company can't handle this contract. Oh, no, we're excellent at what we do, okay? Try to take that contract away from us, and I'll sue. You have my word on that. You 
better do a good job. Oh, we deliver excellence all the time. Design you sent to me. What? Is that what I paid you for? Hey, don't insult my design, okay? I know you have issues with me for reasons best known to you, but don't call my design mediocre. I'm a professional and I deliver excellence every single time. Would you call that excellence? Even my little cousin who just started using AutoCAD can do better than you. I mean, what kind of design is that? It's not what we want. Yeah, that's because you're not used to good designs. Okay, you think my designs are like those, those, those huts you guys have been constructing, huh? This is high level. There are levels to this. <laughs> Okay, okay. It's obvious your arrogance is way bigger than your brain. Okay. That's too much. Okay, I will not sit here and be insulted by a woman that's clearly frustrated with life. Okay, I will not. Please, where are you going? I'm going back to the office. Where people that appreciate me and admit my worth are, okay? My clients, they appreciate me. Boss, ah, you can't just do that. Why? You're a professional and it would be unprofessional of you to just walk out of your client because she complained. Oh, what are you still doing here? Why don't you leave? Oh, be my guest, leave. Please, ma'am. But please, transfer every single penny back to my company's account. Please, 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 we just have to look for a way around this. Well, there is no way around this. The only way around this is for your company to refund my money with interest for wasting my time. Boss, boss, will you do that? Would you just leave an unsatisfying client like that? Please, sir. Please, ma'am. Please, can the both of you just learn to work in peace, just so the work can go well? Please. Exactly. If possible, if possible, boss, in close proximity. Hey, please, 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 please. I can't work in the same space as this man. I agree. I agree with um, Bolaji's idea. That way you can get to monitor his designs and guide him. <laughs> Bolaji here can share my office with me and we can get to keep a close watch on the both of you. Please, ma. Please, sir. This is just going to be a win-win situation for everyone. Well, I'm mature. Okay, so it's fine by me. But if it's not fine by her, I can't force her. Well, I'm also mature. But this can only work if you abide by my rules. Just as I agree to work with you and elevate your company doesn't mean you're going to turn me into a slave or a prisoner. What's that about? Abide by her rules. Who are you? Like I said, the only way this can work is if you abide by my rules. If not, it can't work. Excuse me. Can you believe the arrogance? The disrespect? Please, I'll just speak it for you. Just speak it for you. Uh, our plan seems to be working. I am so excited. Now they'll be forced to work together. Like, you know, I can't wait for them to work together. <laughs> me too. I will throw them a party if they end up dating. What if they get married? Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> I will sponsor the wedding. You see that uh, cow's <laughs> uh, Obi Kubana's uh, mother's mm -hmm. funeral? Me, I will double it. <laughs> I can see your boss is paying you a lot of money, have you? I just like her. Right? Yeah. Ah, I love this. <laughs> I love it. <sighs> Why would you take my biscuits without asking? Oh, well, um, it was a mistake. A mistake? That's stealing. Stealing? You literally saw me grab it. How is this stealing? What well, I didn't give it to you, so that's stealing. It's just a biscuit, okay? It's not that serious, okay? Here, back there. It's not that deep. Jeez. So why have you dropped your half-eaten biscuit back in my plate? So you don't want it anymore? I think you should take it out of my place. Oh, I should take it now? Yes, please. I thought it was an issue because I took it. Take the one you were eating. I should take it. Wow. Okay, you know what? I'll just drop it. Ready? Great. So, we're about going to be at lunch. What would you like to have? Um, well, the usual. Uh, rice and chicken. Oh, okay. Yeah. What about you, Ma? The usual. Okay, Ma. Sir, 
I can say everything is progressing. But I don't have issues with anybody. Okay? No issues. Zero issues. If somebody wants to have an issue with me, it's their business. I just want to do my job and leave. Well, I can't wait for them to finish their job and leave my office so I can have it all to myself. <sighs> So ready to get it? Yeah. I hope you okay. didn't get plantains for my boss. Uh, I got him one portion, Sha. But I got five for my boss. Five? Ah, why is it not too much? I'm even feeling that it's too small. My boss says she loves plantains. Sometimes I'm even wondering if she's even a monkey. You manage, she loves plantains too much. I'm just hoping, Sha, that she will be able to manage this one because I said they don't have any more plantains. What happened? What are you thinking about? See, you know there's a, there's a way sharing connects people together. Why don't we try to, you know, take out the plantain from your boss food and put it into my boss food? Ah, I can't do that though. Ah. Ah. See, it's a simple thing. Once the plantain is in my boss's food, she'll be forced to actually ask him. Um, how am I so sure that your boss will be generous enough to share with my boss? My boss is a gentleman. He will definitely share it with her. Just try, just go back. Tell them to rearrange the food. Please sure? now, there's no time. <laughs> See this man of yours, I don't want them to fire me all. You fast, okay? I'm fine. Okay, please. Can you help me tell them? so naked where are my plantains what well i said the usual this is not the usual there's too much plant i can't even see the rice there's just plantain here uh, um, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry ma the restaurant didn't have any more plantains after they served his well you can have mine there's way too much here no 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 please before you insult me thank you i wouldn't do that okay i would rather starve than collect anything from you. Oh. Wow. So that's how you... Okay. Okay. All right. This is way too much. Plantain. Come on, bro. I'm sorry, sir. Let me just pity you and take it. Because I know you don't want it. And because I am a child of God. Mm. And the word of God says, make peace with all men. Mm. Yes. If you want to eat it, eat it. No, no. Bring your plate. I don't want to spill it on your laptop. Could you please position it properly? Do you know what? Just, yeah. Okay. This is more complicated than I thought it was going to be. I'm just going to give you every, uh, everything. Everything? Yeah. Don't you want any plantain at all? No, no, you can have it all. Hmm. Please, I didn't beg you for it all. Of course you didn't beg me for it. Yeah, I'm giving you willingly as a nice guy. I am a gentleman, you know. Oh, thank God. At least you know. There you go. Uh, I already get so much. That's a lot of content. Thank God, though. At least you know I didn't beg you for it. Aren't you going to say thank you? Huh? 
I didn't, I didn't hear you. No, that's your business. I've said it. This food is nice, though. Ah, I'm telling you. I wish I could steal their recipe. Mm. Wait, don't tell me you can't cook. Of course I can cook. Which woman doesn't know how to cook? Hmm. Lady, let me tell you something. I've seen women who can't cook. Mm. Mm -hmm. So how do they manage to feed their husband and children? Mm. Of course, they perhaps patronize some restaurants or you know hire a chef or something. Hmm. Me, I won't allow anybody to cook for my husband. I will cook for him in the kitchen and I will deal with him in the other room. <laughs> Someone is sounding like a white material. One thousand yards. Uh, uh, that's a factory. I've been meaning to ask you something. You're cool. You're lovely. Mm. You're caring. So, why is it that you're. Well, am I still single? Yeah, exactly. Why are you single? Is it that you don't see the men or men don't see you? My brother, we are not seeing ourselves. <laughs> but, on a more serious note though, it's not like I don't have guys walking up to me to ask me out. But I'm just taking my time, you know? You know this thing called love is not something to rush into. Mm -hmm. so, I feel you, I feel you. You know, just... Um, Allow your heart lead you while you follow, right? Mm -hmm. Just the same way I'm allowing my heart lead me and um, I'm enjoying the journey. My brother, shall I buy bread for me at Oreo? <laughs> you're, so, you're such a clown. <laughs> the journey of love, you buy bread for me now. Ah, so <laughs> oh, that was a very nice meal. Mm. To work. What did you do that for? What did I do what for? Why are you being nice? I'm not being nice, I'm just being me. What are you trying to do? I mean. Wait, I don't understand what you're saying. What are you trying to insinuate? So you you think that because you gave me your plantain and you trashed my plate, I'm going to accept this mediocre design that you've brought forward. <laughs> oh my. So you think I'm being nice so you accept my exquisite design? Huh? I'm just being me, okay? This is me on a normal day. I'm a very nice guy. Hi, Ronnie. No, I'm being serious. If you get to know me, you get to know that I'm a gentleman. Okay? <laughs> well, I'm not interested in getting to know you. So whether or not you're a gentleman is inconsequential to me. Mm. All I know is that I will not be deceived by your facade because, you know, all men must come. Oh, there you go. That's such a cliche. Every time men are scum, men are scum. I've never heard women are scum. So it's the man's fault. Of course, it's never the woman's fault. I mean, women don't go around cheating for no reason. Mm. You know what? It's only a fool that will see true love and take it for granted. Because honestly, all I want is a woman that loves me, not for what I have, but for who I am. You know? I mean, finding true love is extremely hard. No, I'll tell you what's hard. What's hard is finding a man who's faithful. You give them your life. Your resources, your energy, your, your time. And what do they do? They just turn around and, 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 and sleep with your best friend for no reason. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. 
it's it's okay it's totally fine you know i uh i know what heartbreak feels like you know i've had my own fair share and it's so difficult it's so difficult to recover from that especially especially when your life has been built around that relationship i totally understand how you feel you know but we can be held down by the shackles of the past. You know, I mean, our future is so bright that we can't let the darkness of the past dim it. We can't. <laughs> Who would have thought that the most arrogant man is actually a nice man? <laughs> and he actually has a heart. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a heart, okay? And I'm a nice guy, honestly. I'm not, I mean, nobody's inherently bad, you know? S situations and circumstances. And other people make people bad. So let's get back to work. Yes, yes. Outside waiting for you. Sir. Why are you coming in through the back? What's that about? Leonard, please. We need to talk. Listen, how many times have I told you not to come here? Huh? I'm not trying to see you. Your house is my home. Not this house. Okay, I need you to get out. Go back to wherever you called out of. Get out. Honey. It's late already. Hey, don't touch me. I don't care if it's late. I didn't invite you. You even told your gitman not to let me into your compound. Why are you treating me like this? Why are you being mean? You call this being mean? You think I'm mean? If I was mean, I would have butchered you and that idiot that day. Well, how many times did I tell you? It was a mistake. I'm, I'm sorry, Leonard. I, I really love Don't you. touch me. Get off me, okay? Don't come close. Get out. Get out. Could you? I don't want to touch you. Just get out. Please, don't make me do something with regret. Leave. Get out from where you came. Good. How are you? I'm okay. How was your night? It was good. Yours? It was okay. It was okay. It was short but beautiful. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, do you have something new? Yes, yes. I have some new designs I wanted to show you. That's why I just come over. Why don't we go inside? Oh, yeah, sure. Well, <laughs> ladies first. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey. Did you see the way they were smiling when they were talking to themselves? Hmm. I saw it all. I am so happy for them. <sighs> I think I need to go for a blood test. Blood test? Are you sick? Of course not! But with the way my stomach is sweating me right now, I think my sugar level has increased. <laughs> Listen, man, that means obviously my own sugar level too has increased. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but let's go back to work because aside from matchmaking our bosses, we still have work to do. That's true, that's true. I think I need to head back to the office. Yeah. What is this nonsense still doing here? What was what, what that? Um, this see. flyer I got from the bar the other day. Oh, just night. Mm -hmm. My boss is so gonna love this. <gasps> Wait. Your boss loves jazz music? Hmm. What a coincidence. My boss also loves jazz music. She doesn't joke with it. Are you serious? Uh-huh. 
I have an idea. Mr. Ideas. No, 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 I'm serious. See, this is gonna work. This is gonna work. Come here, come, 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 come. See? Are they here yet? No, they're not. We're still waiting. Are you sure they will show up? Well, I can't speak for your boss, but I know my boss will definitely come. <laughs> Speaking about my boss, he just arrived. He just arrived. Ah. Now the question is, will your boss show up? I think so. You see? My boss just arrived. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. Ah. And now the stage is set. Yes. I just sincerely well, hope that this brings them closer. I hope so too. If this doesn't work, I'm sure we've tried our best. Ah, we've tried our best. But meanwhile, let's leave, okay? Before they come in. Yes, yes. Oh! Hi, Lynette! Hey! Are you stalking me? I should, uh, I should be asking you the same. Please sit. Oh, thanks. I should be asking you the same. What? Do you like jazz? Do I like jazz? I'm a lover of jazz music. Wow. Mm -hmm. You don't strike me as someone that listens to jazz, you know? <laughs> well, there are lots of things that I strike people as that I'm not. Mm. Wow, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Yesterday, mm -hmm. I was going to invite you to this, but I thought you weren't going to enjoy jazz music. You know? Seriously? Yeah. Well, I'm here now, so <laughs> let's just have fun. Yeah. Where is he? Uh, he should be here anytime soon, but um, oh. I can be patient. <laughs> Do you want a glass of wine? Oh, yes, sure. Oh, okay. Uh, I had so much fun tonight. I mean, the saxophonist was great. He was. He was. I had fun as well. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I haven't had fun in so long that I forgot what it feels like to actually have fun. You Me know? too. You know, I think I should go out more often. Yeah. You know, it's not all the time work, work, work. Sometimes you have to have fun to unwind, you know, for you to let your hair down. You're right. But you know, since that incident with my ex, I, mm. I sort of shut myself out of the world. But you know, it's gonna change from now on. Like you said, I shouldn't let any darkness dim my light. Exactly. I mean, our future is so bright. I need, oh, I think I need sunglasses to look at it. It's too bright, it's too bright. Yes, we outshine the sun. The sun? The sun is borrowing lights from us and calling us all the time. Can I borrow, please? Let us borrow small lights Absolutely. now. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, listen, we have to leave now. 
Remember, we have a meeting first thing tomorrow morning with the client. Yes, we do. Hopefully, he likes the design. Uh, of course, he will. We did a great job, okay? I think he will. I yes, hope he does. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shall we? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Mm. And the pool. We try to make we, it spacious. We, move, we moved it from here to, to here, so mm -hmm. yeah. you can have the terrace right in front of it. Mm -hmm. So, so do, you, do you like the design? I do. I like it. It's quite um, nice and unique. I'm so glad you said that. You know, we tried to come up with a unique design, you know, to make your building stand out. So we had that in mind. Happy you said that. Well, I've seen the fact that you guys really put in the work here. So well done. Yes, we did, sir. We did. <laughs> so, does it mean you should go with this? You won't change anything? Mm, definitely. I'll be going with this design. Uh, you know, when I was rejecting the other designs you sent, I actually felt I was wasting my time and I almost cancelled on the contract. But right now, I am really, really glad that I actually waited because this is just what I had in mind. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. But you know that we can't commence the construction till we get the balance. <laughs> I knew you would do the money talk, but that's that's not a problem. Um, once I leave here, I will instruct my accountant to make the transfer to you, so that work can commence immediately, and I'll have my masterpiece ready in no time. Thank All you right? very much, sir. All right, it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure, sir. Yeah, you have a nice day. Yes, sir. Thank I'll you, sir. Yeah. Take care. Have a great day. Thank yeah. you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank Have you. a great day, sir. You too. Thank you, sir. Yes. <laughs> Love is magical, unconditional, so emotional. Ooh, yeah, unpredictable. But so beautiful to know the feeling of love. Why are you so excited? Did you just pay your salary? Salary, go, pension. See, I've got good news. <laughs> so, what's the good news? Look, the client just left the office and I just overheard our bosses celebrating. Do you know what that means? Mm -hmm. The client liked the design. Are you serious? I'm for real, man. <laughs> hey, that's so nice. That means your boss must have done a good job. Of course. For the client to be so impressed. Ah, you can say that again. You can say that again. <laughs> man, this calls for celebration. Yeah, it does. That means your job here is done, right? Sadly, yes. Well, I'll miss having you here. I've gotten so fond of you. Uh, well, that means we're not going to see each other again, right? Yeah, we will, but it wouldn't be as when you were still working here. Oh, someone is already missing me. <laughs> of course, of course. You are fun, nice company, lively, mm. interesting, mm. a bit of an annoying person. Oh. Yeah, like whenever I'm coming to the office, I'm always looking forward to seeing you. And I think I have fallen. I mean, I will miss you, right? Yeah. I'll miss you too. Love is magical, unconditional, so emotional. I am so glad. I am so glad he finally chose this, because we've given him so many designs, but he's rejected every single one of them. Well, like you said, he was waiting for mine, so you know. I'm glad he liked your design. No, our design, okay? We worked on it together, so. Yes, we did. So I guess this is the end, right? Of this contract? Of us seeing each other? What? So you're not gonna give me any more contracts? <laughs> Don't be silly, of course I'm going to give you contracts. I mean, 
we're definitely not going to work from the same space, you know, the same office. Yes, 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 I know, I know. I know. So I guess it's only when we have meetings, right? Would you like to see me more often? You know, a few weeks ago, my answer to that would have been a capital no. But now... <laughs> <laughs> what? But now I am. Um, I know that I do. <clears throat> would you um? Would you like to go have dinner with me tonight? Are you asking me out on a date? Love is magical, unconditional, so emotional, ooh, yes, yeah. unpredictable, but so beautiful to know, okay. yeah. the feeling of love, love is everywhere, love is everywhere. open your eyes and see, it. let go of the heart. <clears throat> I came to ask if you're ready to leave, sir. Oh. Yes. Yes. Uh, could you could you help me with my last Oh, sure. Yeah. So, um, see you tonight. Definitely. I was wanted to do that. All right. Take Bye. care. Take care, Amanda. Bye. Somebody is going out on a date tonight. No, I'm not going on any date. We're just going to have dinner. Well, an outing with someone of the opposite sex is called a date. Whether they are going to buy a caram bread or not. Don't you have any other thing to do? Yes, ma'am. Somebody someone go find me. See the chef, so I can give him or her a big hug. <laughs> really? Yeah. Huh. Hmm. Yeah. Didn't you like the food? I mean, it was okay. It wasn't bad, but I mean, it's not to the level that you praise him to this degree. You know, you give him a hug. <laughs> I mean, I've made better meals than that. Okay. I'm you. Just, just saying. Please, cooking is not autocad. You know. What? 
What? Mm-hmm. You're doubting my cooking prowess? You're doubting these hands? No, I'm not. I'm just saying that your hands don't even look like they've ever touched the pot. These are magic hands. What are, okay, I'll prove you wrong, okay? Why don't you come over to my place? Okay, and I'll make the best meal you ever had. Really? So you can go to a fast food joint, buy the food, put it in a pot, and warm it up when I come. <laughs> Why would things. I do that? Hmm. Why would I? Okay, do you know what? I'll make it in front of you, okay? Hmm. I'm a chef. I, it's not going to be a meal. It's going to be cuisine. I can't wait. Cuisine. Are you sure? Good evening, um, <laughs> sir. Good hello, hello. Ah, it's so lovely to see you both smiling at each other. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot has changed about us since then. Oh, wow. Yes. I'm happy to hear that. I'm sure they'll be excited to see you both getting along. Who will be glad to see us getting along? Uh, please let me get the waiter to come get the bill. Enjoy your evening, please. Thank you. Anyway. Thank you. Wow. Nice place you have here. Oh, thank you. You know. Very nice. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so let's go warm up the food that you bought. What? Of course not. You know what? I was just putting everything in order, okay? Because I want you to be with me from the beginning mm. to the end. So you know I actually made it. I can't wait for you to embarrass yourself. And I'm not about to miss any of this. So please, show me the way. Okay, we'll see. Okay. Follow me. I'm following you. I hope this year concussion is not going to purge me. Well, I can't wait to see the surprise on your face when you taste it. Okay? This is top class. It's okay. Stop I mean, it's blowing. Better, it's better than what they show on TV. What do you wait for me to taste the food? Cuisine. It's okay. not a meal, it's cuisine. <laughs> right, go ahead, go ahead. I told you, wow. okay, I'm a strong chef. Oh, wow. My hand don't strong. Mm. Do you understand? I've been doing this for a while. Mm -mm -mm. Right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, mm. <laughs> if I wasn't there mm -hmm. while you made this, I would have said someone made it for you. That's why I wanted you to be here to watch these hands get to work. Okay, I told you this with magic fingers. Even okay. the plantain is well fried. Just the perfect texture, right? Mm. Mm. I can't stop eating. Mm. Well, it gladdens my heart to see you enjoy my cuisine. Mm. Okay? Top level cuisine. You know, no woman will make shakara for you. Mm. With food? Mm -mm. On the contrary, I'll be the one doing shakara for the lady, okay? Because I know for a fact I can cook better than like most women, okay? Clearly. And um, every woman would wish they had you. Oh, uh, come on. That's not true. That's not true. I mean, it's true. You're a nice person. I mean, you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but you're nice. Your ex is a fool for cheating on you. Your ex is a way, way bigger fool for cheating on you. Do this. You can do what? I can't be fooled again. Listen, I'll be a fool to fool you. Okay? You're a wonderful woman. I mean, you may seem tough on the outside, but inside you're really soft. You're just a sweet woman that enjoys food. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're a wonderful woman, okay? And it'll mean the world to me to jealously guard you.
Do you promise not to break my heart? I'll be a fool to do so, okay? Listen, I love you, Kimberly. I do. I love you too, Leonard. Love is magical, unconditional, so emotional. Ooh, yeah. Unpredictable. I think I should um, start going. It's getting late. Okay. Uh, call me when you get home, okay? Sure, I will. Thank you so much for coming. Let me help you pack up. No, 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 no. Don't worry about it. Don't Are you worry. sure? Yes. Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay. Thank you. You're walking to the door. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your okay? Yeah, it's right there. Yeah, yeah. Have a great day, okay? Thanks. Love is magical. that was dragging out from your compound. What are you doing in my house? Huh? And how dare you call the love of my life names? Are you okay? The love of your life? Yes. Oh, you now have the love of your life. I thought we were figuring things out in our relationship. In our... What are you talking about? What relationship are you talking about? We don't have any relationship. There's no relationship between us, okay? You can never have me back, okay? You can never have me back. And the sooner you get that through your head, the better for everybody involved. I will never accept it, Leonard. I still love you. I'm they keep so clinging on to, to, to air, okay? Because I've gotten over you a long time ago, okay? A very long time ago. You're wasting your own time. Please, I'm begging. Hey, leave me. What are you doing? I'm sorry. Get out. Please. You can't keep doing this to me. Please, I'm not going anywhere. I don't want to go. Please. Please. Hey, get out. Don't make me push you out. Leave. Leave and let this be the last time you ever come here because my girlfriend, the love of my life, will be coming here very often and I don't want her to ever see you. Okay, so please leave. I'm not going. Hey, don't make me manhandle you because I will do that. I'm not going. Excuse me. I'm not Excuse me. Going. Just, could you grab your bag, please? So whoever you're chatting with is really making me smile. Like I could be trying to hear your voice from outside. <laughs> I hope it's a client. Uh, well, the joy she gives me is more than the joy of all our clients added together. Okay? I mean, chatting with her or just hearing her voice brightens up my day. You know? Uh -huh. Someone seems to be in love. <laughs> I am totally in love. I mean, I'm guilty as charged. Okay? I've fallen and I'm on the floor making snow angels. Uh, and, well, I hope... It is who I think it is. Well, uh, if you're thinking Kimberly, then you are absolutely right. Yes. You seem excited. <laughs> Almost more excited than I am. <laughs> Excitement is an understatement, sir. I am overwhelmed with joy. Like, does that mean you and Miss Kimberly are officially dating? Yes, we profess our love to each other. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to tell Amanda. Wait, 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 wait. You seem a bit too giddy, and I'm on, Wait, why do I have a feeling that you two have a hand in the coincidences that brought us together? Well, sir, mm, it is what it is, you know. Besides, who would be happy knowing that their bosses who used to hate each other are now in love? Mm, right. Anyways, I'm heading over to our company. Why don't you come with me? Okay, I want to take her out for lunch. Oh, yes, sir. Should I tag along? To lunch? Mm -hmm. No, three is a crowd. Don't be a third wheel. Just pull me to our company. That's all I need. I don't need you tagging along, asking questions, intruding when you shouldn't. Yes, boss. Okay? All right. Okay.
Ma. Oh. I'm sorry, Amanda. I didn't hear you coming. It's obvious what you're thinking about must be really exciting. <sighs> it's not a what. It's who I'm thinking about. <laughs> who? That person must be really special. Mm. I hope it is who I think it is. And who do you think it is? Well, I am hoping that it is. Hello, my love. You look wonderful, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Are you ready? Definitely. <laughs> All right. Oh, Amanda. <laughs> well, now you're the source of my happiness. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> Seeing the both of them in love. So excited. Mm -hmm. I'm so pleased our effort will know again. You know, we did a great job matching between them. That's true. We will sure make a good team. We should consider <laughs> opening a matchmaking site. Right? <laughs> yeah. We won't just make a good team, we'll make the best team. <laughs> right. You know, we're perfect for each other. <laughs> right. Trying to say, Bolochi. <sighs> uh, something I've wanted to say for a long time. You know, ever since I saw you at the bar, I got attracted to you, but I didn't know what the real reason was. But getting close to you, I'm getting to know you. I think I know what it is. Look, Amanda. I may not be perfect, but I know I'm perfect for you. I fully love you, Amanda. I love you. You know, it's not just I don't want to admit it right now, but I'm in love with you too. Love is magical, unconditional, so emotional. Ooh, yeah, unpredictable, but so beautiful to know the feeling of love. Love is everywhere, love is everywhere. Open your eyes and see, it. yeah. Let go of the heart. Ooh, yeah, love can make it through. Love can reach out to you, to you, when you know it is true. First you get so addicted, intoxicated, yeah. with the magic of love. Then it hits like a sickness, so, so complicated. complicated, the magic yeah. of love. Everyone has a weakness, you can't resist it, the magic of feeling of love. Of love. That's the feeling of love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of love. That's the feeling of love. Yeah, yeah. Love is everywhere. It's everywhere. Open your eyes and see. Oh, yes. Let go of the hurt. Ooh, yeah. Love can make it through. Oh yes. Love can reach out to you. Wow. So, am I dreaming or is that what I think it is? Well, I'm going to propose to Kimberly today. So. Oh, wow. Congratulations, sir. Why are you saying congratulations? I haven't even done it yet. I mean, she might say yes or no. Oh no. Why would she say no to the love of her life? <laughs> Besides, I need to start planning your wedding so I can have an idea for mine. Yours? Yeah. Well, you and Amanda? Yes. <laughs> you know, it's crazy. It's like we shared them, you know. Boss gets married to boss, assistant gets married to assistant. Exactly, sir. <laughs> you know, I cannot wait to marry Kimberly. I love her so much, I can't wait to privatize her and make her mine. I see. Please do, sir. So that 
Every other man will know she's out of bounds. Exactly. <laughs> this is really nice. This is beautiful. Sir, can I see the ring? Yeah, sure. This is so beautiful. What are you doing here? Huh? How did you get into my office? Relax, Leonard. The secretary is not on set. Can you imagine? She's definitely getting suspended for that. Why would you suspend your secretary because I found my way to your office? Do you hate me that much? I don't hate you, I just don't want you around me. Okay, because your presence reminds me of a past I'm trying really hard to forget. Is that hey, get your hands off that. It's a trailer tire. You're asking me what is that? What kind of ridiculous question is that? Do you want to propose to that slot? Hey, I will not sit here and watch you insult the woman that's about to be my wife, okay? Why, why, why do you want to propose to her? What does she have that I don't have? <laughs> is it a fine face? Is it a body? What? That's all you think is necessary? Huh? Fine face and uh, fine body. That's all you need. Huh? Apart from sex, what did you offer in our relationship when we were together? Tell me. No, tell me. Because Kimberly has loads of qualities of a, a real virtuous woman that you will never have. Get out of my office, please. But let me... Let this be the last time that you come close to me. Okay, I don't want to see you close to my house or my office again. If I see you close to me, I'm getting you arrested. And you have my word on that. Get out. What kind of harassment is this? What kind of rubbish? Sorry, sir. How can she not be on scene? Did you know she wasn't on scene the second I, I didn't know, sir. I didn't know. Are you sure you're not covering for her? I'm, I, I'm sorry, I didn't know. I didn't know, sir. in love with someone like that. It's okay. What was I thinking? It's okay. Let's just thank God that no life was lost. That's the most important thing. Sorry. Boss, how do you feel? Not feeling too great. Not feeling too great to be honest with you. Don't worry, you'll feel better soon. With the medication that the doctor gave you, you know, you'll get over the aches and pains. Thank God it wasn't worse. Don't worry, you'll be fine, okay? Sorry. Boss, don't worry, I'm sure you'll be fine in no time, okay? At least we'll have enough time to plan the wedding. What wedding? Our wedding. <gasps> you know, I uh, honestly wanted to do this at a restaurant, but I'm a better late than never. Wait, hold on. No, 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 no. Sorry. Kimberly. Yes. You've shown me the true meaning of love. And you are the very definition of beauty. I'm so honored to have you in my life, and that's me being honest. So, I would love to make it permanent. Kimberly, would you please marry me? Yes. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Hmm? Are you ready to buy those cars now? What cars? I thought you were the one that promised you were going to buy them cows if they agree to get married. Sure. They're out of big on our forehead. Oh. Okay. What? Why are the both of you staring at us like that? We made this happen. From the launch dates, the jazz show, and the contract. Sorry. We made it look like
like a coincidence. I, I don't know whether to be angry or grateful. Babe, I, uh, I think we should be grateful, okay? Because of these two brats. Yes. We get to be a family now. I love you, baby. I love you too. <laughs>